for your invitation Champagne. to experience the clink, the chaos, and all of the empowerment secret you desire. You know we got some Hella hood with class, baby, I'm doing one Come sip and save us so we can spill some And if you lost your way, we'll leave the light on Confidence, welcome to the chalet located in Champagne City, baby. <laughs> you see it. Come join me, the Empress, for some grown discussions and bubbly banter. Over here, we give classy with a twist, huh? A little clink with chaos with a side of charm. So if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill, then come on in. And if you're one of my non-alcoholic kind of confidants, Grab you a non-alcoholic bubbly and get in here. It's all good. <laughs> and if you're listening in the morning, go ahead and throw some orange juice in and make it a mimosa. <laughs> As for what I'm sipping on, you already know my Moet and Chandon Imperial Rosé. So if you're ready, you already know. It's time for our positivity and affirmations. So go ahead and get those glasses and lift them high in the air. I don't care if it has water in it. <laughs> you are a masterpiece in the making, constantly evolving into your greatest self. Embrace the journey of becoming your greatest self, for it is a beautiful evolution of your soul. Trust in your abilities and believe in your worth, for you are capable of achieving incredible things. Every step you take, Every choice you make brings you closer to the magnificent vision of yourself that you hold within. Remember, greatness is not a destination, but a way of being. So let go of self-doubt, embrace your uniqueness, and step into your power with confidence and grace. You are a masterpiece in the making and your potential is limitless. So here's to you, confidant, or you are worth it. Before we get into this new episode of Transforming Rolly, I want to take the time to thank all of my supporters and subscribers on this road to 1K. I am currently up to 912 watch hours and 241 subscribers. And I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you. And thank you for making this channel a safe place for people to come and watch, comment, or just watch, but have a whole lot of enjoyment. So thank you again. But now on to transforming Rowley. So the episode opens with Rowley in the truck and she's headed to her hotel. She just had her BBL um, and her stomach lipo. So she's had about four or more liters of fat removed from her stomach and turkey basted into her butt. <laughs> she's still amazed at how small her stomach is. And I guess now I can see the results a little bit more now that she has her clothes on. She still has on her shirt and her diaper and she's wrapped herself in a robe in order to go to her room. So then she gets to the room and she says that she's <laughs> she's ready to rip her, um, her robe off because she's in her room, baby. She can be in her diaper if she wants to. <laughs> So she's clearly still in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. She grabs her breasts and then she says she doesn't know what she's going to do with them. So I'm guessing at this point she hasn't settled on having a breast reduction yet, but I get it. The bigger the breast, the harder it is on the back. So this is a surgery that I kind of understood for her because my sister, I think was like a 48 triple G like or triple F like it was something weird 
but she and she had scoliosis so she ended up getting a breast reduction um because her spine was curved because that's what scoliosis is and it made it so painful because of the size of her breast that she ended up getting them reduced to reduce some of the back pain she was experiencing from it so because of that i can kind of understand roly wanting to get that surgery but looking at her booking rep manager Raina, she's assisting her with prepping her bed so she will be comfortable and my question is is she getting paid extra for this or is she just doing this on some kind of friend level because she's been right by her side non-stop and if this is the way she goes over and beyond for her clients somebody blow this girl up because she has been catering to Roly every step of the way every step of the way um now is it just me or does she kind of look like a plus size dj scott because in episode one i thought for sure that's who this was until she got up closer so she did mention she couldn't feel her stomach and her stomach was still numb now considering that she stated she had nerve damage i'm wondering how long it takes for the numbing medicine they put in her to wear off where she would be able to tell whether or not something was wrong so she's preparing to go and get her massages done and if you don't know according to the moyer total wellness website um i looked up what the purpose of the massages were and it says that they're for lymphatic drainage and they assist with the bbl recovery process by manually flushing the symptom causing impurities from the body freeing the congested lymph and restoring its normal movement toward the lymph node rich parts of the body so she says she doesn't understand how women with multiple surgeries get it all at once they must be demons and i think all of y'all are crazy for getting this surgery done <laughs> lipo too because no man no ma'am i'll take sonobello for 300 alleys <laughs> because no ma'am after seeing this any thoughts i had about possibly doing a contour are gone with the wind i promise it is because being juked and jabbed all for the sake of being smaller i'll take cool scup for a thousand alleys because no no <laughs> so the truck starts moving and it starts hitting bumps and Rolly is yelling baby because those insides are being shaken and stirred and now that she's laying on her stomach I can see more of a difference in her butt so she takes a call and she's talking about how much the blogs are talking about her and she's saying now all of the blogs and all of the people who are talking about her are going to be saying how good she looks and this is the attitude people take when they're giving constructive criticism in this new world, right? No, not everybody is jealous. No, everybody is not hating. No, everybody is not mad because they can't get it. People are just saying there was a safer way to lose weight for someone of your size. But see, this is how we're grooming the world now, right? We're grooming the world to think that if anyone disagrees with you, then they're a hater or they're jealous or they're envious. There was a time when we actually sought wise counsel. Now, wise counsel is Sexy Red and Sukiana and Krishan, and you can't tell me what to do. Why do y'all think the rich have mentors and advisors? Because they understand that in order to be or stay successful, I need wise counsel and instruction to ensure I'm not sabotaging myself or anything I touch. Everybody needs someone in their corner who's going to look them square in the eyes without fear and tell them, you're in danger, Molly. That role has caution signs and red flags. Get out your chest. You were wrong. See, that's what loyalty is. Loyalty isn't me loving you enough to agree with you. It's me loving you enough to tell you a hard truth instead of an easy lie. It's loving you enough to not let you crash and burn for the sake of your idiotic fantasies. That's loyalty. Anything else is idolatry, sweetie. But because y'all idolize people so much, you blindly follow and crash and burn with them just to be in their good graces. And that's not okay. Now, rather you be cool or come out of a bag, it really doesn't make a difference. But I'm not going to be the person who's going to be your friend and sit back and watch someone that I say I care about and love 
do something that could be detrimental to their health and life without me saying something. I can't do it. I'm sorry. And if you really cared about the people in your life, then you would start doing the same. That doesn't mean that they're going to listen, but that's not on you. That's on them. But it is on you if you say nothing. You can't trust anyone who agrees with everything that you do because you're not a clone. They're not a clone of you. I need you to have your own personality and your own thoughts, not mine. So then she says she doesn't care. She did it her way. And she finna look better than all of us talking shit, honey. And we about to be sick of her. So she arrives at the clinic to get her her lymphatic drainage. And is it just me or does it look like the girl in the black just had a BBL? Because her body wasn't like this on episode one. <laughs> and my question is, she got her BBL before she got her teeth done? Because that, well, what did I say in another video? When girls get a little taste of money, the first thing they do is put it in their hair or put it in their ass. It's, it's generally one or the other. Everybody wants to ride, ride the wave and look like ants in the words of Kevin Hart. I mean, but do you boo boo? So they're adjusting her on the table and she's saying that it hurts. Her ass hurts. All of those I-10s and roll waves that they created in her stomach and in her ass are now hurting. And now they're about to apply, apply pressure to them in order for her to drain. And I have her face blurred because her breasts are so large, they're sitting against her chin because they're so big. So there's nothing wrong with her face. I just don't want to show them bazooka she got sitting up there. But so they explain to her what's about to be done. And the lady tells her you will be uncomfortable the first day, but it will get better each time. Which is basically, girl, this ish finna hurt like hell. <laughs> and it's gonna hurt each time you come until it don't. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, sir. <laughs> so, the first thing they do is basically pop her like a balloon. And she starts draining and leaking everywhere. So, more juking and jazz. The lady begins rubbing her stomach down and look, she has on gloves. So, so far she seems more professional than the ones that actually did her procedures. But this lady is massaging her and she is draining. And remember her stomach is still extremely tender. Um, only thing I can use to try to understand the type of pain that she's in uh, with all of this pressing that they're doing is equating it to the pressure that they put on your uterus after you have a baby to make sure you don't have any blood clots and your uterus is properly contracting to prevent any postpartum bleeding it puts pressure on the blood vessels to stop the bleeding from the placenta detaching from the uterine wall so that procedure for us after having a child it hurts like hell so the only thing that I can use to try to equate the type of pain that she may be in is to equate it to that. The doctor comes in and says the process is good. What's empty doesn't stay empty. So they're going to have to ensure that she doesn't get swollen. So the girl who's with her, Ashley, she says to her, you didn't know this is what you were signing up for. Uh, huh? Press pause. So y'all didn't extensively tell this girl what this process would be, including the pain that she would experience with the drainage before she agreed to do the surgery with you. Just, you'll come, have some uncomfortability, but your results will be amazing, huh? Child. Mm. So they help her get up and they're taking her back to another room because she's having another procedure done. Yeah. And she's walking, but she's saying that she's feeling real dizzy. Y'all, I feel real bad for her. I do. Because this shows me the lengths that we'll go to because of insecurities from others and because of the ones that we inflict on ourselves. Y'all, look at this. Y'all telling me this girl ain't built like Princess Ada from Bugs Life. <laughs> like, for real. Y'all telling me this girl don't look like an ant standing here. <laughs> But she tells Rowley she's coming later to get her drainage done and she's not going to let her tap out. So she's just going to have to boop boop doop her because she has to have it done. So she's getting more drainage done and she is just pouring fluid. Goodness. So 
She's getting ready to get her faja and Ashley is stretching and stretching and stretching so it'll fit her. So they start helping her into her faja and you can see she's all patched up. Rolly is talking about how tight it is and as you see they're stretching this thing on her. They're stretching trying to pull it all the way up. She's saying ouch while they're trying to adjust it so that they can fasten it. They're pulling and tugging on this thing and she is just moaning in pain. So then they lay her down so that they can actually fasten it because they can't secure it with her standing up. And she's still moaning, honey, still moaning. So you see them fastening this thing up. And look, y'all, I have worn a waist trainer with these type of fasteners and baby, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I had to take the thing off so I can just imagine how much she's going to struggle in this thing. Look at her stomach hanging out the top like a can of busted biscuits. That's how I know she can't breathe. She can't. <laughs> but all for the sake of beauty, I guess. If my friendships ain't as strong as these hooks, baby, I don't want them. <laughs> for real, I don't want them. My friendships have to have some staying power, as the old folks would say. So she's all stuffed in and they help her get up. So this is what her side view looks like with the faja all pulled up. This is what she looks like from the front. And you can tell she's a lot smaller and you can see more of her contour with her faja on. Another side view. And I see why it's hard to see a big difference with her BBL. And it's because she has so much back fat and it's almost like her back fat is sitting out as much as her buddy is so I can understand why she really wanted to unbig her back I'm not doing it but what I'm saying is I can understand why she wanted to so she gets dressed and Dr. Voskin comes in to do her next procedure and press pause so with the lawsuit going on I would have thought that the episodes would have stopped since the lawsuit is in direct relation to this show so now I'm wondering if this is all a publicity stunt to make more people watch the show. Because if I'm being sued, baby, it's a board mission <laughs> until that thing is worked out. And this is the actual doctor with the lawsuit. So it's interesting to me that they still have the show and the episodes that are showing him. But that ain't my business. So let me continue. Um, because I feel like it would be a conflict of interest in the case, right? But again let's continue so he's prepping her face for the procedure and the first procedure that she's getting is a chemical peel and it's to remove all of the bad skin so he's rubbing this cream on her face and I guess that's all the chemical peel is because after he rubs the solution on her face she just gets up and leaves so I've never had one of these done so watching these procedures is really interesting to me so now I'm going to show you all the most that I've done, right? So hold on, just wait one second. Here we go. So I saw this girl on YouTube, right? And she was talking about body contouring at home. So I purchased this kit right here and it's called Cabaline. And Cabaline has these little vials with fluid in it. Um, each vial is for one week. You do it once a week for five weeks, right? Um, I think it was like $99. I also purchased this Hyaluron pen, which basically used air pressure. And it pushes the fluid through the skin. And you only do this, like I said, once a week for five weeks. And then you have to drink lots and lots and lots of water in order to flush your system. I did notice the difference. I cannot lie. I noticed the difference in using it, but I really didn't stay committed. That's, that's my problem. It really is. It that'd be my problem. It it be the committed to it <laughs> where I struggle at. So I really wasn't able to obtain my optimal results, but it did work. It did not hurt. It might have felt like a rubber band being popped against your stomach, like lightly, not even hard. But it wasn't painful at all. And they also have some numbing gel in case you're really sensitive that you can just rub on your stomach. There's a tiny amount of bleeding just, you know, because it's like a, you know, it's actually pushing the fluid through the skin. So like a pinprick of bleeding, maybe. But that's as far as I'm going to go for a procedure. I promise that that's really as far as I'm going to go. 
beauty is pain <laughs> no it's not beauty is beauty pain is pain and i prefer not to mix the two <laughs> so she says if she would have stayed big she probably would have been on her deathbed but i thought you said you were healthy healthy and deathbed doesn't go together it goes together as much as grits and salt and pepper <laughs> don't y'all get in my comments saying otherwise butter and sugar is the only way i said what i said <laughs> and it wouldn't have taken five years to lose weight had she been committed to the gym and eating right and making a lifestyle change but that's the problem with many of us in every area of our lives right we lack the mental fortitude to stick with it and not give up when it gets hard I almost gave up on this YouTube thing right when I first started in January but then I got committed and now I'm starting to see things pick up and I know somebody says what does that have to do with this because had she been as committed to herself as she was to this surgery she could have seen these results and more in a year or less but because we lack commitment and we lack the stick to it -ness, we never see the results that we truly want so she starts back talking about the haters and she says one minute it's it's you need to lose weight and then when she does it's you should have got a sleeve press pause two things right one yes people said you should lose weight but two they didn't expect you to go get filet mignon in order to do it <laughs> they didn't expect you to go get basted like a turkey baby they meant eat better and work out they didn't expect you to take on Beatrice Kiddo and her Hattori Hanzo swore to get smaller. So now she's at her apartment and she's getting more drainage. And is this normal to get so many in the same day? Or is it just because of her side? Because geez. So she's getting massaged under the red light. Her friend Big Sexy comes in and he asks her how she feels. And she's telling him that she feels good because she's accomplished something that she wanted to do. And he tells her at the end of the day, it's what makes her happy. No, it's not. Because I get it. I get it. You're being a friend. But there are a lot of people six feet deep and in the penitentiary doing what made them happy. So Gutter comes by to see her and... If you don't know who Gutter is, Gutter was on the Zeus Network TV show Bad Boys, which is the spinoff of The Baddies, um, and he was one of my faves on the show. So Gutter is shocked. He's shocked because Roly ass is all out. <laughs> but he tells her she's going to look good at the beach, and baby, you need friends who are going to boost your confidence within reason now, but are going to boost your confidence. Big Sexy said it's going to give hourglass when she puts on her swimsuit. I mean, hourglass adjacent, maybe? Maybe a curvy two-liter Coke bottle. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> but your friends should give you confidence. They should. And if they not, baby, you need to change your friend group. So Big Sexy asked her what she's going to do um, once this is all done, when she's done with all of her processes. And she says she's going to come out with a video shoot. They asked her why she was so emotional about this process. And she stated that when she first announced it, people were excited. And now they're just totally against her. But you don't realize that's how the crowd is. When you're trying to play, for, play to and for the crowd. The crowd doesn't know what it wants. The same crowd that yelled Hosanna, Hosanna was the same crowd that yelled crucify him to Jesus. This is nothing new. That's why you have to stop trying to please the crowd. By the way, did you guys hit that like and subscribe button? Really appreciate it if you would. Y'all know y'all like all this bubbliness and laughter that we have over here. I know you felt the positivity when you came through the door. Y'all see the different rooms you can chill in. We got the Hennessy Zone for our harder topics. The Chalet for our bubbly conversations champagne conversations for our fireside chats the secrets gazette for our news the caught being ignorant unit for the ignorant stuff people do on the internet that we can key about and the newly introduced solstice sundays for that sunday morning word of encouragement and our night secrets for our late night indulgences and story times you know for the grown folk <laughs> so go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and become a confidant 
We're glad to have you. And don't worry, if you're still trying to decide, we'll leave the light on. <laughs> but y'all, look at Gutter Face while she drowning. Y'all, his face has me in shambles. <laughs> Completely and utterly unhinged. Because that's how I would have been. I promise you. So, now we're on to the next day. And she has um, Raina meet her because she says she needs to get some air. So, she says that she has to get ready to go get her chin lipo done. So, this is procedure number three. We had the Tommy lipo and the double BBL. We've had the chemical peel, which is not as invasive. And now we're getting the chin lipo to remove her double chin. So, y'all, she's getting ready to leave to go get it done. And, y'all, Big Sexy, Big Sexy is just gassing her up. Gassing. I'm trying to tell you if your friends don't gas you like this, you need to report mechanical failure and return to sender because she she does look good. I'm not going to take that from her, but that was never the problem. We said that over and over again. You can see a definite difference with her faha on. He like, you can see it now. You can see, can't you see it? Like, he is amazed. Yeah, I like bruh, for real. I like big sexy. So, she's positioning herself, and you can see more of her contour and her hips while she's laying on her stomach. And he's telling her, you just don't realize how much people love you. And this is what makes me know that she wasn't as secure as she said she was, because... Number one, confidence doesn't need enhancement. I've said that before. But number two, you don't continually speak on what you don't care about. If I say I don't give a damn what you say, I'm not checking for what you say. He wouldn't have to gas her this much if she was secure. So it lets me know she had some insecurities, whether she admits it or not. So here we go. And we're back at goals. And once again, we're just spraying down the tools that are going to be used. We have these Katana Slims and the Kill Bill Special. And please help me understand why you need so many tools for your chin. Seeing that table, I would have walked right out. I'm still traumatized from the last bout with these weapons of mass destruction. Baby, no. <laughs> so he's uh, marking her face for where the fat is going to be removed. And she's in pain trying to lay back on this table. Just like with the stomach and the butt. She gets a few injections to numb the skin where the Katana Slim has to be inserted. And this is the Katana Slim that they're using to insert the numbing medicine. And I'm wondering with this particular surgery, can that, what would happen if that needle went in too far? Like, is there the potentiality for this thing causing some kind of damage in your neck? Like, can the doctor accidentally poke her esophagus like this this just seems like too much so he fills her chin with the solution and tells her she's gonna look like a chipmunk for a few minutes and her chin is swollen honey <laughs> y'all know that cabaline i told y'all about it could be used on the chin too but i just focused on my stomach so yeah that that's about as far as i'm gonna go because <laughs> this no ma'am no ma'am <laughs> so now he's actually started her lipo process and he is jabbing this thing i mean oh goodness she says she's not uncomfortable so he continues she says that she has to undo her faha and i'm sure because look how stuffed she is in this thing that she had and she has to keep it on non-stop that that alone is a problem for me listen i've had my waist trainer on and snatched it off in the middle of public because I couldn't breathe. No, thank you. Mm -mm. So having to have this thing on, no. Mm -mm. And not be able to breathe. People have died from waist trainers. I wonder has anyone like passed away from the tightness of a fire high? I've never looked into any of this stuff because I'm not trying to have a BBL, but I'm just wondering like, does the fire high itself bring its own set of concerns because of being so constricted but she's complaining about pain in her side and she starts to rub it so they're all done she's all bandaged up she has to keep the bandages on her face before and I think it'll be about a week before she's able to see her real results 
So Big Sexy says, girl, you got a whole makeover. And she says that she's not done. She has four more procedures. And baby, he makes this face. And I know in his head, he like, itch. I know you fucking lying. <laughs> that baby scream for what? <laughs> she basically says she's having her breast done. She's getting a tummy tuck. She's getting her back done. And she's getting her arms baby she trying to be a bad lip and she snipped like a barbie lips hips ass and a cart <laughs> hello motherfucker <laughs> so she has to walk around looking like a half wrapped mummy <laughs> so Raina brought her some breakfast and i guess there was some things fried in it so she couldn't eat it and it looked like she had some waffles as well but she said she couldn't eat the syrup so she's spitting out the waffles that she took a bite of. Um, Dashinko shows up, comes to the house. Now he's a masseuse. And also, I think he said an alkaline electric herbalist and a massage therapist. He's also um, Dr. Seabee's nephew. And he states that he's been continuing Dr. Seabee's work, allegedly. And if you know anything about that, Dr. Seabee. Dr. CB was into doing things all natural instead of all of these invasive procedures. So you can tell from this picture that her stomach is a little flatter, but it's still wide. So you can definitely see a difference with the few drainages that she's had, but they are milking this girl like a cow to remove all of this fluid. So he's helping her to take off her bandages and press pause. Is this a damn maxi pad extra large on her stomach? So, this is what they're using for drainage. No specialty guard. Just a maxi pad extra large taped to her stomach? I I know you lying. What, <laughs> what are we doing? And apparently they have put the tape that was used to secure the pad. They put it actually on the incision itself. So... You didn't ensure the pad was over the incision. You just threw some tape on there. And she can't see past her breast in order for her to know that it's put on there. Child. Even Dashinko is in complete disbelief that the tape is over the incision. So she asked him if he thought she should have waited in order to get the surgery done until she lost more weight and he stated that he's all about doing things the natural way first so absolutely and i'm so glad that he was honest with her and didn't just feed her ego like everybody else seems to do but let her really know no this is not about really just what makes you happy this is about what makes you healthy she says it's hard to eat right when you're constantly on the road and he tells her that he has a 21 day green juice diet that people usually lose about 10 to 15 pounds per week and she has this look on her face like damn <laughs> wish i would have known about that first but it wouldn't have gave her the big butt that she wanted so still it really wouldn't have made no difference she still probably would have got the bbl but she starts getting lightheaded and she has to take a break and she's saying that she's starting to feel really weak so he allows her to go lay down and now we're at the next day big sexy comes by bearing gifts see i need friends like this friends who are going to shoot to you with no questions asked to make sure you're okay see i was this person with people that i thought were my friends until i found out that they weren't and in typical virgo fashion i walked away no questions no conversation i'll love you from a distance but do y'all boo boo <laughs> do y'all but you can no longer do me <laughs> you feel me i will be home alone with my tv my dogs and my bed before i sit and have to worry about if you're going to be as sturdy with me as i am with you no ma'am no sir because that's where we mess up at we hold on to things we should let go of because we have a problem being alone all one so we allow people to attach to us that aren't adding value to us why do y'all think i say at the end of every video if it doesn't cause you to elevate it's causing you to depreciate because i want y'all to chase after what adds value and not what subtracts it so we all need a big sexy in our lives for real so baby he gives her a candy dildo and he asked her if she plays with toys she says no 
He also gives her a finger fucker and he says it's a dash trophy. Y'all, is this thing a toy or a trophy? I'm confused. <laughs> so now she's giving a speech. And hey, y'all, she is cussing us out with an English accent. <laughs> I would like to thank all of you bitches that hated on me through the years. <laughs> See, this is what lets me know that she cares more than she says that she does about what people said. Because what's understood need not be explained, boo-boo. So they're playing cards. And I guess with this card game, you got to read the card and come up with your best phrase for it. And it's a dirty game. But how many of y'all have played dirty card games before? I, I want to know how many freaks I got in the chalet. <laughs> So they have a private chef and he's made them some crab legs and y'all I am a sucker for some crab legs please and believe Big Sexy asks her how old her son is and how he feels about everything and she says he's completely supportive she said he actually went on a diet with her when she started dieting and she stated that he's 15 years old. She also stated that her son is her best friend and that they basically grew up together. Now, one thing that I can say is that I know of, you haven't heard anything about her son being in the blogs and any negativity about her son. So he must be a pretty good kid. So I have to give her credit for that. But babies having babies and figuring out along the way, this is why I have such a problem with the sexy reds and the Sukis and the Krishans because this is what they promote. And before anyone gets in my comments with it's just music, baby, listen, music has never been just music. Never. They use music to charm snakes. They use music because it gives you a frisson, a deep emotional connection. They use music because it helps plants grow faster and healthier. So please stop with the narrative. Music has power. Back in the day, you actually had dances that went with music. I'm going to do a video on this, a whole different video. We had the Cabbage Patch. We had the WAP. Not, not, not this new one. <laughs> <laughs> but we had the old wop. We had the electric shake. Wait, y'all remember the butterfly up, up, that's old. Let me see your tussie roll. <laughs> Come on, let's tell our ages. <laughs> y'all remember doing the butt. Uh, uh, sexy, sexy. See, we had songs, and those songs promoted a feeling. It made you want to get up and dance and see if you could do the dance too. Hell, even the D Lo shuffle. Now, this is the only dance. This is the only dance. Throwing ass and being provocative. And this is what y'all don't understand. Guys are turned on by sight. Girls are turned on by touch. So all she has to do is throw it the right way and he ready to go. All he has to do is touch it the right way and she ready to go. But these are kids. And these kids aren't sexy red. They don't have the money or the connections to take care of a baby if they get pregnant. So guess what happens? Another generation of babies having babies trying to figure it out together because the music provoked a feeling. And I'll do you one better. Why do you think I have slow music playing in my intro and throughout my videos, huh? My channel intro video. It's to provoke a laid back, relaxed, zen feeling. Like you are in a cozy chalet, sipping wine, sipping champagne. Because see, you got to use your imagination over here. <laughs> For real. Everything that I do over here pulls on your imagination to pull you out of the chaos, even for just 20 to 30 minutes. So you get to escape into another place that's quiet and that's peaceful and is an escape from all the chaos that's going on around you. And that's why I don't tolerate negativity over here in my world. It's enough of that in the world alone. It's enough of that on YouTube. So I don't have that over here because when people come over here, I want to provoke peace so that you get used to peace so that all you desire is peace. So the music needs to change because this is a highly sexualized music that these babies are listening to and it's crazy and the lyrics don't even insinuate. They don't even insinuate. They're used to, no, but <laughs> let me save that for another video. But a baby having a baby 
and they are growing up and learning together. And you can really see her face beginning to peel. If any of my confidants have had a chemical peel done, does it hurt or burn or sting? Like how does having this done feel to the skin? So Big Sexy tells the chef that the crab legs was absolutely delicious, but it was just an appetizer. <laughs> It wasn't enough, so he got to go find some real grub, honey. And now they're all getting ready to go. But if you all remember this outfit that she has on, this is the outfit that she had on in Jamaica when she fights for Suki. I know, because I said it looks like she grabbed the old raggedy rag from the back of the restaurant and threw it on. I mean, it's cute right here, though. <laughs> So that's really where this episode ends. So that's all I have for this one. Why don't you drop in the comments and let me know what you think about episode two of Transforming Rowley. Consider hitting that like and subscribe button and becoming a confidant. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we jump into the chalet for a new show. Consider hitting that support button, hitting the cash app. All proceeds right now that you send are being um, used to help my daughter who recently lost her baby. Um, and I did do a video on that. I want to say thank you because I received my first cash app. I don't want to say her name because um, I don't know if she wants that out there, but she knows who she is. Now I feel official as a channel, honey. You didn't help me feel official because I got my first cash app on my channel. So thank you so kindly. But that's all I have for this one, my loves. Confidence. Always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink till we meet again. Ta-ta. Champagne secret.